In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add and to edit galleries using Portfolio Pro for iPad. At the moment, we're in client mode and we're looking at the home screensaver. But if we swipe from right to left, we're dropped into the galleries screen. And as you can see, I've already created five example galleries. From the galleries screen, clients are able to um, tap on any of these thumbnails. And so if I tap on the London collection here, that will flip the app into uh, the London collection gallery. And in fact, clients can also swipe from right to left to, um, to swipe through your various galleries. So we're back on the galleries home screen here. Now, we're in client mode, so if we triple tap anywhere on the screen, we'll turn Portfolio Pro into edit mode. Now, I also want to show you um, the hide and show button. Let's say I'm meeting a client, but for one reason or another, I don't want this client to see photos from the London collection. Um, with Portfolio Pro, you simply can hide the gallery in edit mode. And then in client mode, the gallery is no longer visible to clients. It's that straightforward. So I've triple tapped and gone back into edit mode. And I'm going to create a new gallery now. So create a gallery. And Portfolio Pro has created this new gallery for me here. And if I tap on the Photos button, it will drop me straight into the new gallery, which is currently empty. And then I'll be able to import from my iPad from Flickr or Dropbox. And this time we're going to um, try importing from Flickr. So I've already authorized with Flickr as, uh, as Nicole, as my wife, as she's a photographer and I'm not. And you can see um, what Portfolio Pro does is it grabs all your Flickr sets and in addition, it grabs your entire Flickr photo stream. So you can actually shoot, we can shoot back in time and, and pick images um, from as far back as Nicole has photos on Flickr. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to just pick a few example images. Um, these are the most recent ones in her Flickr photo stream. So I'm picking photos directly out of her photo stream. And now I'm importing them. So, so what we're seeing now is the gallery that I created and, um, and each of those photos is being downloaded. And while it's downloading, in fact, we can reorder the photos. So for example, if I, if I want this car to be the first photo, I can tap and I can hold and I can simply move it over here and drop it. And now it's the, the first photo in the gallery. So, I, so you can rearrange while Portfolio Pro downloads your images in the background. Um, if we triple tap, we're now in client mode. And you should also see that the app has um, grabbed the description and title of each of Nicole's photos that I've imported straight from Flickr. So it's a real time saver um, if you've already taken the time to add your descriptions and titles um, using Flickr or Dropbox, in fact. Um, clients can tap any thumbnail in a gallery like this, and that thumbnail will um, be replaced by the large full screen image. And swiping from right to left, they can flip through the example photos in the gallery like this. Or you can start a slideshow or a flip show. Right. If an image has a greater side than 1024 pixels, um, then Portfolio Pro will allow users to um, zoom in like this and navigate around making the most of your pixels. In the same way that we can hide and show galleries, Portfolio Pro will also allow you to hide and show images within a gallery. So triple tap, and then we'll, let's say, hide these five, and triple tap again back to client mode, 
and those images are then hidden. We can also change the title and description text of any image on the fly like that. There's one other way um, to import into Portfolio Pro that I'd like to show you. If Here I am back on the gallery's home screen and in edit mode, this time rather than create a gallery, I'm going to import a gallery. The main difference here is that Portfolio Pro will automatically select every image within a folder on Dropbox or um, a Flickr photo set. So for example, now I'm going to pick Nicole's Brighton and Hove Icons photo set on Flickr. And by default, Portfolio Pro will select all of the images in this photo set and automatically create a gallery with the same name as the photo set, Brighton and Hove Icons and begin batch importing all of those images. And once again, if I wanted to change the order um, and create a new image as the uh, main thumbnail, I just place it at the beginning of the gallery. And there you have it, that's adding and editing galleries.